Hi, this is Byron. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can, Byron. I can hear you just fine. How are you? Pretty good. <laughs> Glad to hear it. What can I do for you today? In February 2008, 54-year-old Byron Gustafson was diagnosed with ALS, a degenerative disease that destroys a person's muscle control while leaving mental functions intact. In Mr. Gustafson's case, the disease first attacked the muscles in his mouth and throat, affecting his ability to talk. He now relies on a computer to communicate. I type a lot and speak to my colleague about many subjects. It's very easy to communicate. And they can hear me well. New developments in technology have allowed computer hardware and software to become smaller, more powerful, and cheaper, creating new possibilities for patients with disabilities. Just in the last couple of years, regular computers have become powerful enough to run some of the software that has been specialized just for people with disabilities. So even three, four years ago, you would have had to purchase a very expensive computer to be able to run a, the software that was made for someone with a disability. That's not the case anymore. Some of the products that are commonly used for patients like Byron are heavy, can cost up to $7,000, and most do not have general computing capabilities or internet access. When we looked at the first devices, I was shocked that they were five to 7000 So it was a major decision to buy equipment like that and we kept looking for other options. Mr. Gustafson was able to buy a netbook, a small web-enabled laptop, for just $400 and download Type and Talk software for free. Well, Byron was actually one of the first patients that I thought about the netbook for. I, me and his uh, therapist were talking and just going over pros and cons of different devices. And you know, he's a businessman, he travels internationally, and one of the requirements he had was I wanted to talk and type but I also want to get on the internet, I want to do email, I want to do you know, so just some basic computing things. As this technology has become more affordable, Mr. Gustafson's health insurance has not kept pace. His netbook is not covered, while a bulkier, more expensive device would be. Still, he felt that this computer was cheap enough that he could buy it, even with the expectation that he will lose his ability to type as his muscle control declines. For now, the tiny computer with its little speaker goes everywhere with him. I fit right into Starbucks.